Everything's all honky dory. Um, put that down. Can you all hear me on here? If you can, say hi in the chat if you're watching. Just let me know you can hear me okay. And we shall start. Um. Right. So I presume we are live. Right. So I presume we are live. Yeah, there we go. Let's just uh I presume we are live. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> hey, good evening folks. I see there's two three people now watching in the chat, which is always good. Nice to see you as all. I've got the chat here on the on my laptop. Hope you're well. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to grab that Concord, which is over here. Uh, so, uh, Enrique, nice to see you, Enrique, into the chat. Let's move that over there out of the way. Whoops, just lost what I was doing. And uh, let's put that on minimum. Coolio, so finally, it's been on my desk for a couple of weeks now, but I finally got the wheel for the uh, Concord. Hi, Sprue Glue, good evening. So the wheel's finally come for this Concord. And uh, so that now can go in the box. So there you are. <laughs> May I've had the loggy log I I red hot. I had the loggy tech camera for about over twelve months. I just uh, I haven't used it. I haven't used it um, as a live stream. So I've not done live streams for ages. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the old loggy tech camera. So that's seventeen. What I want to do this evening, just quickly, just just take that one off. I'm assuming that you can just use and put them in any old place. But with this Concord, I want to see how they fit. I assume that's got a space in it. Oh, let's have a look how they fit. I'm assuming they'll just fit. They just slot in. And they are slightly raised. Very, very slightly. But the idea was, was to see... If, is that all they all in? Yeah, they're all in. If there was a method of um, making them flush, what I might do with this kit is. Let me get rubbed down to see if we can get them to look a bit more shinier. The idea was is that I had a bit of a brainwave because there's nothing worse than trying to paint around or spray around these. And the idea I had was, could you not get a bit of mask gold and just tap each and every one of them, let it dry, and then fit the glass in into position, glued in. And then when you spray it and everything, all you've got to do then is peel off the mask hole. Just an idea. But I said this, because, you know, look at that. There's a lot of glass there, isn't it? It's only tiny. It's like it's like pinpricks, isn't it? So, yeah. How would you get those parts? As my 1 to 144 scale flanker is canopy is missing and it's by Revel. Okay, so what you do is, is you contact Revel and you say, here, I've got this kit here. And unfortunately, it's missing bits. And then hopefully they will 
send out the correct bit. To be fair, Revel were easier to get bits from than uh, Airfix were. So that's the way I would do it. Uh, just look in the chat. We've got Steve Gibbons. Hi, Steve. Yeah, your mosquito was here, mate. I will get round to it, I promise you. <laughs> yeah, I will get round to it. It's had a bit of a field job. Um, can you see this? Uh, the glass, if you, it, should, oh, it was rattling, but the glass has fallen in. So I'm going to have to try and get this apart, I think, and, and re-glue the glass. See, I don't like using PVA. I just as well use uh, something a bit stronger. Um, hi, Mandy. Mandy's watching. They've got Sprue Glue. He's watching. Corinne's live. Hi, Corinne. JPW Models. Hi, JPW Models. Hi, Sam. Hi, uh, Red Hot Reactions. And hi, Paul from Midlife Models. So, yeah, that's an idea. I'm just going to look at, you know, let's just see if, if we could do that. Put these in. Give them a buff down while they're in position so then they're flush and they're shiny then get some masco and dollop masco on each of these glue them in position once this and then once the fuselage is glued together you won't have to worry about paint getting on the glass because you can obviously just pick the masco off so yeah but there's this there's the wheel finally here in the box now and so that is a project for the next couple of weeks. I've got to do that as well, that uh, mosquito. So, yeah. Um, there you are. <laughs> Good luck getting out, mate. It's tricky. Yeah, it does look tricky. Hi, Dominator. How are you, sir? How is your channel? Is it growing still, mate? Any new uh, subscribers? Um, yeah, so what I was going to talk tonight was... Um, uses of masking tape because um somebody asked me how i don't make a mess with my tamiya paints there's a really really good trick with tamiya i've got an excellent trick with tamiya paint you've got paint like this and you've got to pour it out now somewhere i have in my in my stash here a selection of So, you got your Tamiya. Give it a shake. Really good shake. And I'm going to pour it into there. There's a really, really good technique of making sure, because normally it ends up going down the, down the sides, doesn't it? It ends up going down the sides. What you do is you get your Tamiya tape, rip a bit off. And what you're basically going to be doing is making a funnel out of it. So you place a bit on there. Can you hear that motorbike? And then you press around the rim, like so. And then you get another piece of Tamiya tape. And go right to the edge, like so. You do it with any paint, really. And just do that. Make sure it's sealed around. And then when you pour your paint into here, I'll just make that down a little bit, there you go. And the idea is that when you pour your paint, come on, do that, then lift off this, and you haven't got any around the edge. It stays inside. Just one way of keeping the Tamiya, Tamiya, Tamiya paint off the side of your pot. It's a little tip. So whoever sent me that email, I can't remember the guy's name now. That's the way I pour Tamiya paint into a pot so for mixing. All right. It just makes, makes it less messy. It makes it less messy. <clears throat> XF flat, 575. So you can see, that's basically how I do it. So a bit of tape, either side, and let it pour over the top of the tape and it stops it from going down the edge. I found out of masking tape. Now that is useful. <laughs> You've suffered with it as well, have you, um, Dom? Have you suffered with it as well? 
Hi, Dead Soul Gamer, one of our channel members. Brilliant, nice seeing you tonight. Yeah, quite, quite a few in. Any questions, just leave them in the chat and I'll try and answer. And no daft questions and all that rubbish, you know what I mean? Anyways, we're going to go back to this one tonight. Basically, this one's now had uh, two coats. It's had the primer fitted, and of the grey primer, and then I've gone over it with a white primer, you see, and just to give it a little bit more of a texture. There are some raised spots, which hopefully we can get rid of using a bit of sanding paper, just to take off the edges on the top to give it a nice surface to Bikes tonight outside, incredible. That's, that's quite a smooth finish now, it's not too bad. I'll finish this off a little bit. That's all right, Dead Soul. Yeah, that's not looking too bad, actually. That's actually covered quite nicely. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy. Yeah, it's not looking too bad, is it? Very happy with that one. It's almost ready for um, the uh, red top coat, I think. <laughs> yeah, um, midlife there. Yeah, yeah. How did you get on with it? Was it? Was you? Were you happy with the result in the end with your little diecast? <laughs> Hi, David. Watching this via my phone. Her ladyship wants quiet to watch some of her rubbish. Yeah, I know that feeling, mate. <laughs> Let's Going on here, um, get rid of that sprue glue. I'm playing War Thunder. <laughs> I don't really, I didn't get into War Thunder, I didn't get into War Thunder at all, believe it or not. Never really got into it. I'll take that one off tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna try this bat sharp tonight. I've had it in the stash for ages, I've never used it. Never used it. So I thought, what an opportunity to use it tonight by giving this a bit of a coat with some Tamiya lacquer paint. Yeah, I better made a nice change for you. I say, you know, I've been set the challenge of doing this die cast. Where's my... Find my Tamiya. There it is. That's the one I want. Ah. Tamiya lacquer thinner. Have you tried your tap and die set yet? No, it's here though. Somewhere. What do I do with that? Yeah, somewhere here. I put I put everything to one side tonight. That's the tap and die set, so I'm gonna have a little play with that later. Let's get some. Oh, 
That's quite powerful, actually. What have what, I got it on pressure? I'm surprised. Hang on. We've got a bit of a problem here. Oh. Well, that's better. Oh, we've gone everywhere. But, uh, that was on 40 PSI. I wanted it on 20. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Hi, John. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming to the chat. in the old uh, what happened to quick kits what do you mean mate quick kits uh, what happened to quick kits yeah I don't want to blow it up now I don't know what happened there mate why that was, I think I was on 40 because I was blowing up some um, um, footballs. I've got a football that I use to massage my back with. And so I pump it up rock hard, like, you know, and I must have used that. I don't know what happened to Quick Kits. I've not heard or seen him for many a year now. I think he went to university. And like most of us, he probably got himself a girlfriend. <laughs> uh What are you running that for an airbrush at the moment, Dominator? What are you running at an airbrush at the moment? Hi, D9, nice to meet you. Hi, Jen, nice to see you too. I have a few airbrushes, yes, that I've acquired over the years. I'm going to put the Mac, Mac valve down a little bit on this one. I don't want it blowing too much. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going at the moment. Unfortunately, family would skim me if I turned a compressor on. And the garage is chock a block with rubbish at the moment, so no space to work in there. Ah. Not wrong with hairbrush, mate. Hairbrush is pretty good, you know. Quite happy with my, you know, I hairbrush for years. Get the old hairbrush out. Do, 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 do. Right, I got that, got that. Um, pull these out a little bit and let's just open it up to there and that's going to stay on there mm. actually if I 
Mm. It won't go in with these, it's too fat. See, and he's in. If I clip him. Yeah, I reckon if I clip him, I should be all right. You should get one of those Revel ones, Dom. I've got one here, actually. Get yourself one of these if you can. Um, you know, it basically it's only it's only a single action. It's not a dual action, so you just you basically set the uh, the the compressor to it's either low, medium, or high. So you get one button. So you put in the mode there, and you have this bad boy here. But it's only single action, so all you do is pull him back for paint. Nothing else. The air is coming from the compressor, so you can't set pressures like that. But it could be something really useful. Hi, Jeanette's corner. You know, and only, and only 100 quid, and they're not that loud, to be fair. They're not that loud. Oh. I think he's pretty much um, mixed up. much mixed enjoy using this yeah I, I do have a set somewhere mate I just they're not here they're either downstairs somewhere Great, I've I have a great airbrush yet, never used it, as I've no idea how to be looking for someone to teach me. But of course, last 15 months, no one allowed in. I just pick up the brush and play. That's all you do with an airbrush, I swear to you. That's all you do. Is that going to be enough? Hopefully that'll be enough. I don't want to use too much. Oh. Look at that! I've done, I've done that bad, didn't I? <laughs> Look at that! Look at that. Perfect. So just get your airbrush out, mate, and just just play with it. You'll get a feel for it, I promise you. It does come in the end. It does come in the end. Just keep playing with it. Should be the consistency of milk. Try this back sharp out, shall we? See how it looks. Is that not? That's in. That's in tight. Let's 
try this, shall we? Why is that not? That's strange, not coming out, is it? It's locked, that's why. That's better. It's going quite nice, isn't it? Ah, swine. So I didn't want to happen. Ah, that's what I didn't want to happen. Get on the top here. It's actually covering quite nicely. And because it's a lack of paint, it dries a lot crisper and cleaner. Because what I tend to do is I'm gonna, you know, every so often I just push, just let the air go through it. Just let the air get to it and dry it. Every so often. And then don't forget where you finished off to. Do that bit there, getting a bit closer, it's getting inside the wheel well. Uh, need to get a bit more light here, I can't quite see. Um, there you go, let's add a little bit more light to this so I can see. We'll just bring the camera down a little bit. Uh, come on, camera. Down you come. Play ball. There you go. There you go. That's looking a bit better now, isn't it? 
It's actually a nice finish on this, to be fair. A really nice finish. Hope others can see this. It's actually coming up quite nice. Uh, let's move this a little bit centre. Go around it a little bit. Let that kind of dry a little bit. I think we're pretty much there and it's still make it still retain the detail you can still see that detail there yes it has really really spread the paint quite well but then again you know i, I should have you know if you want to spray red you should have primed it with a yellow i should have primed it with a dull yellow first then you put the red on top that's one of the better ways of doing it um but yeah that's what i should have done really and the mac is a bit fidgy on this one so they just enough And as I said, when you've got um, lacquer paint, it does dry quite well. <laughs> I'm a model maker, mate. I, I don't... Uh, this restoring lark is just for a bit of crack. But, can I just say something, Paul? In real hindsight, there's a lot you have taught me about this. And I hopefully... Because I think that when it comes to finishing off a project, I think... And there's so much from the scale modeling side that can be put into into this, if you see what I mean, into doing the restorations, you know. There's so much. But yeah, I think that's really looking pretty swell, to be fair. And this is the first time or the second time I've used this lacquer paint from Tamiya and it, it, it goes on a breeze it, it is absolutely lovely um yeah how to lady it does take a lot of patience but it I yeah it does take patience um especially when you're building the model but when you're finishing off it's really it becomes like a like a, a blank canvas because once the model's built, you can do whatever you like with it to make it look as ever you please it, however you ple please to be. Well, I think that's enough paint on the edge there. I'm trying to get in underneath here a little bit. Whoops, a bit too close that was then. A little bit under here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think we're pretty much done. How much paint have I got left? So I didn't use a lot, did I? Oh, look at that. Can you see that? I'll just put the camera down a little bit. Look at that. I, I think that's that's a first. Normally, you end up pissing a lot of it down the, down the way. So I'll leave that little bit in there because I might just go underneath it and just put a little blow underneath but yeah, so that's pretty much a well-covered kit. What do you reckon? Put it in the comments. What do you think? What have I got a dislike for you, Ms. Below Bastards? Honestly, why have you given me a dislike? <laughs> it's because I'm doing a diecast, not a scale model. No, it's just a challenge. It's all it was. It was a challenge. And uh, um, Midlife Models, if you want, go to his channel because he does restorations and he's in a little group. And, and within the group, there are scale modelers who do this as well. And it's become a really lovely little community. So it's always worth um, going over to uh, the Midlife Models and see what he's doing. But 
But yeah. What do you reckon? Does it look all right? Not bad, is it? I think, as I said, I think the lacquer paints is the way forwards for this. Definitely the way forwards. Really happy. Was that David? Retaining the detail is the difference between an airbrush and a spray can. Do you think so? I um I wouldn't diss I wouldn't I wouldn't diss um air air um spray cans, tin cans, because depending on how you use them, you know, I think when when you're um if if you're um using spray cans, first of all, make sure they're lukewarm because that helps with the paint flow. And also I think it's it's better to keep the can... See, if you're up close, and you're going to get thick. The further the way, and, and it's better to do minimal coats than one big fat one, isn't it? Like everything in life, isn't it? It's better, you know, better to do little and often than and go. And I think, you know... So I've sprayed cans before. Yeah, you know, I've sprayed the... Uh, I wonder what I've done with that. That's a good point. What have I done with that one? I can't remember what I've done with the chassis. Um... Yeah, if you, if you, if you, I sprayed the chassis black somewhere. I put it somewhere as well and I can't find it. Uh, oh, it's downstairs, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, when, when you, when you're doing it, you just got to play, take it, take it steady, take your time. Yeah, you can control the airbrush flow more, but the further away you are from the model, the less paint's going to get to it. If you see what I mean, if you're up close, all of that paint's going to hit. I don't know if you notice, a lot of when I'm spraying, a lot of the paint misses. And that's the point. You're making a miss, don't you? But the further you weigh and then just do it, you know, and just gently do it, you'll be fine. Honestly. You'll be absolutely fine. That's, that's a... Is it touch dry? You know what? That is actually dry. Would you look at that? That is dry. No lie. That's, that's, that is dry. Sure is. Yeah. That's dry. Whoa. Yeah, that's actually dry. It's not hard and dry, but you know what I mean? It's dry. So while it's there... That's actually amazing. That is dry. Yeah, look, dry. Amazing. I can't, that's, that's how good this stuff is. It's dry. I've said that so many times now. It's dry. I just want to go over this edge here a little bit. If I can. Ah. Try and use up less of the paint if I can. Yeah, this lack of paint, mate, is dry, absolutely dry. She's at the last of this, so it's all that's that's it. All the paint is now gone. So we load the thinners in first, blow that through to give it a clean. Let's give that a good clean. But I can't go over how quick that dried. I wasn't expecting it to be that quick. Good clean through.
Right. A good clean out. Yeah, that red's really good. Good effect on that red. So, right. IPA. Grab a bottle of this. I put some IPA in there. And then get that a quick swill. Where's me? Get a good clean in there. Make sure I get all the red paint in. It's looking good. See the IPA going in. Leave that a minute just to give it a bit of a soak. And then what I need to do is max up the power, don't I? It's coming through clear now. Can you see that all coming through clear? Need that to go through. IPA is isopropyl isopropyl alcohol, is it? Isopropyl alcohol. Uh, this stuff here. That's what you need. Isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> how is that how you say it? Buy it on eBay, 99%. Well, it's getting expensive for a while because this is the main ingredient in, um, what's it called? Um, um, oh, you know, you know, that stuff for your hands. And there we go. We pretty much clean it out. One last job I am going to do, which I recommend. If you get an airbrush, you do this. Hand sanitizer. That's the stuff. Well done, Sprue Glue. Is, um, let's turn this off a minute. One last job I'm going to do is unscrew this. Okay. And, oh, has this one got a, has this one got the jobby, is it? It has. So if we just unscrew the back a minute. Unscrew this. We just pull it back just gently. That's enough. Get the spanner. Where's the... Uh... I can't see. Is this one easier to... Is this the same, is it? Ah, oh, there you go. Just gently... Twist that off. Okay. Leave it there. And then what I do is, is I push it right through. That way to there. Gently clean off. Gently clean it off. And then push it back. To there. Airbrush cleaner. Get a quick spray through. That's him. Put this back on. Carefully. Oh. What a pain in the bottom. Twist it a little bit until it's tight. Yeah, it's tight. And then put 
Put the needle through gently. So it just touches. Push it in tight. And that's him. Clean. And push that one back in carefully. On the end, whoops. I don't do that all the time. I'm just showing it. That was all just because I don't use this airbrush a lot. To be fair, I don't think I've. It's just I thought I'd use it tonight. Something a bit different. Screw him up. Blowing through and he's clean. Then goes back in its box. Just give that a little clean as well. Boom. Pretty much done. And I bet that's dry. Yeah, as I, it's only because I don't use this brush a lot. Normally, I would just blow it through and leave it. And I, I clean it once every three or four weeks. Let's put that away. So, well, Mr. Air, uh, Bat Sharp. Or Bart Sharp. Not a bad little airbrush. So there you are. Let's just move this up a little bit again. So we can see what time is it. It's uh, almost done. Let's pick this up. I think that's done a really good job, actually. I'm quite happy with that. And so it's just dry. That's all dry in there as well. Perfect. Boom, boom, boom. There you are. Are you surgical spirits from Boots? It's as cheap as chips over here. Oh, fair play. Surgical spirit is IPA, isn't it? Is there IPA in surgical spirit? Push all that in there. Clean up. There you go. Well, I hope you had learned, learned something tonight. <laughs> ah, there you are. That's, uh... This was the um, Mr. Surface, a white surface I used after I used... I ran out of Humbrol, really. That's, that was the problem. I've run out of this Humbrol primer. So, and I thought if I used the Mr. White, Mr. White Surfacer, that, that would help. And uh, so I've still got the Tamiya one here, but I thought, which is the, which is the fine surface, so I just thought, I'll give this a crack. It's all right, actually. You say it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not supposed to cover it anyway, are you? It's just, I'm going to the, go the bin now, in the bin box. So, yeah, there we go. Just a uh, quick tidy up. So, give them that, like a, like a thinner. I put that back over with the lacquer thinners. I do have the range here. I've got the uh, the X twenty A thinner. I've got that thinner. I try to keep the thinners the same for whatever I use. So I also keep um, Mr. Color thinner. That's a good one. Um, if you need to, also. You've got the the leveling thinner, which is if you wanted to use um, humble paints with a with airbrush with a hairbrush, use this stuff. Phenomenal stuff, really good. Uh, what's that one there? Um, I've, got, I've got all the others here as well. Um, just so that it's, I've got, basically everything's there. I've got the Hataka one as well for when I use Hatakas. That's a good one. And I have, that's the airbrush cleaner. I thought I had the thinner here for Vallejo. I've got some Vallejo thinner here as well. But yeah, I try and keep, I try and keep the thinners together, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, 14 watching. Any questions in the chat? Any questions? Not that I can see. So yeah, there you go. That was uh, so. It's a lovely challenge. It's like, I'm quite enjoying this challenge. 
I've got the I've got the tires for it as well. I think. All I got to do now is wait. I'll leave that to harden because it, 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 it still needs to harden. Lacquer needs to harden, doesn't it? Um, so I'll leave that to harden. Over the next couple of hours, and then I might be ready to put the uh, um, do the tapping, do the tapping and the drilling. I have got another one that I'm looking at as well. as doing this one here, which is a Land Rover. Where can I get a cheap mosquito? eBay. Um, do a mosquito. Do the get the Tamiya 172, which is this one here. I picked it up for nine pound. As I say, it's still got to be finished yet. I haven't got around to doing it. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing the, that's a good one. The, look for Tamiya Mosquito one to seventy two kit. It's actually a, quite a nice kit to put together. So this one's going to be done next as well. So I've drew it all out. Just glass come out. There's the glass. So the glass to do on this as well, which will be a bit of fun. That one's to do as well. And then that's it. I'll go back to me modelling, I think. Getting <laughs> pushed around. I've got the screws as well. I've got some M2s here. So I can screw them back together again. But I think that's pretty, we're pretty much done, aren't we, for tonight? Are you enjoying the live streams? Do you want me to do some more? Um, I'm on about, because I've got membership on the channel now, of just doing live streams for just members of the chat. Um, or the members, you know, who actually sign up to the membership, um, you know, just as a, and just do a few live streams in an evening. I, I say I've just got some ideas and stuff, help support the channel. Hi, underdog Peyton, nice to see you, my friend. Nice to see you. I've just, um, if you did, I, I was set a challenge by a group of my friends who, um, are they're diecast restorers, and uh, they've just had a recent challenge where they have built a starter kit and so i got challenged to restore um die cast so this is what i've done i've got this uh bedford um unit and i've you know cleaned it all off and i've just resprayed it with some tamiya lacquer paint and I've, I've fallen in love with this stuff because within i don't know 10 minutes of spraying it it was completely dry not like hard hard dry but it was pretty good pretty good so, at the moment, that's where we're at with this. So, I thought I'd just spray it on camera tonight and get it looking good. What's that chieftain like? Have you had a look at the um, what the what the tooling's like inside? Can you let me know what you think of it? Because I do want to do a tank this year. I haven't done a tank for so, so long. And uh, I don't know which one to to do. So I've got some polish to come in to do that, to clean this up. There's that, or oh, where's that spring to? There's the spring. So in theory, if we lift that up, that will then go back in there. Was it that way? And then Yeah, I've got a box full of models. If you want to see the models, I can bring the models out. It goes in that way, doesn't it? There you go. That fits in there, like so. And then the... Goes around there and goes in there. And that fits in there nice. I've got a whole box full of models. And go back to when I originally started doing modelling, when I was paintbrush in and they they look terrible but every model i built made it you know you just get better and better doing them you see what i mean this came as well for me some flexi files i've got to set up at some point apparently they're quite good to use Right, I think we're pretty much done for the evening. I wonder what I've done with that. Ah, this is the trouble in it, you get to do stuff. Hi, 345 Barry. 
Made it back in nineteen nineties. Looking forward to utilising the skills I have gained since then. Fair enough. Um, do you watch uh, Uncle Night Shift at all? There. Oh, I lost. Uh, where's the channel go? Oh, lost the live stream. Hang on. There is, is there a problem with the rubber tank tracks nowadays? As a lot of model kits have tank tracks as individual part i think rubber's had its day i think rubber has had its day i think a lot of them now like give you individual i think like i think the min kit for a tank is about 450 parts and 350 of those parts were the four pieces to make one individual track um yeah he um so yeah i think rubber's had its day i think more now you can buy linked track um online and there's a i tell you if you want to speak to somebody is is write a comment to uh nomad productions or no uh, nomad n-o-m-a-d space p-r-o-d nomad product i thought prod whatever it is look for him because he does a few tanks on his channel and um he was on about the tracks as well some of the tracks were crap and some that he, he bought in to do properly because he felt that he would have done better with with a specific set of tracks, so if you need to speak to someone about tracks, he's your man. Um, I have Zvezda kits, and even many of the Tamiya kits now have individual tank tracks. Really, yeah, Zvezda do to individuals, don't they? Yeah, I think they're about right. Any other questions in the chat? Hey guys, if you've liked this live stream, please give a like. Um, leave a comment in the box as well. If you want to be a member of the channel, uh, go to join and select one of the perks and uh, become a member. You don't need to, um, but I will be putting out content just for members of this channel in the future. In the future, um, not because of anything, just um, you know, modeling does cost a bit of money, and it is nice to be able to buy new things and stuff to do on the channel um but yeah i wanted to buy a kit for a while because i've got so many kits here um but yeah it's um but you know like tools and stuff it'd be good if you could you know become a member of the channel and you know say get some more packs um there will be giveaways and stuff because i've like I said i give away models left right and center anyway but if uh I love competitions for models, so if you do fancy becoming a member of the of the Mod Six Five One Zero Models community, then please feel free to join in. And don't forget, we do have a Scale Model Club on Facebook. It's called the Scale Model Club. Uh, Airfix Tamiya Revel Hazigawa. Just look for that, and you'll find us. And um, and I talk and chat to people on there all the time. Just leave a message on there. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok and Twitter. So there's loads of ways you can get contact me if you want to contact me. All right, I think we're done for this evening. Thank you all for watching. Again, like I said, just click like if you liked it. Um, any suggestions, put them in the comments box below. And hopefully I will see you sometime in the week because I'll do another live stream. All right, thanks all for watching and uh, take care.